G'day Internet and Australasia, uh, Dan Murphy here from Empire Australasia, with me is JJ Jennings and David Michael Brown, and uh, we are here for the Movie of the Week show, ah, and we're talking about The Infinite Man, the debut feature from writer-director Hugh Sullivan, Sullivan. Hugh Sullivan, which was uh, shot last year in South Australia, along with a whole bunch of other movies, mm. um, and it's uh, a very, very funny piece of time travel rom com stuff yeah JJ do you want to run us through it yeah sure um, yeah look the the great joy in this film is that um, it's uh, it's it's a low budget film but basically the uh, Hugh Sullivan as writer has worked very hard to make this a killer script uh, so he's really been able to spin out you know a, a, a quite a complex concept into a very compelling kind of film Basically, it's about uh, it's it's the cast are three people: uh, Josh McConville, who plays a scientist slash inventor called Dean; his girlfriend Lana, played by Hannah Marshall; and then uh, Lana's ex-boyfriend, who is played by Alex oh, Dimitriadis. Dimitri Terry. Terry, yeah, an he's, ex he's great as well. Isn't he? <laughs> he's great. He's an ex, ex Olympic javelin thrower. <laughs> uh, who now basically <laughs> Dean you Dean say that loud like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. yeah. So Dean has taken Lana uh, to a, a remote hotel f for a romantic sort of anniversary weekend that basically goes completely askew. So uh, he invents a time travel device, as you do, to try and do over the weekend and make everything right again with, uh, with Lana. Now, of course, nothing goes to plan, so that goes wrong. And without giving too much away, multiple versions of each character start stacking up as the time travel gets out of control. Because uh, he wants to keep up on... Each time he mucks it up, he wants to make it better. So he's he's yeah. going back with a list of things he's got to make better, and and yeah. it's inevitable it's going to go wrong. Yeah. The great yeah. thing about it, though, it's sort of it's sort of like a because there, there is that Groundhog Day sort of you know yeah. learning by your mistakes. Eventually, you'll get the get the girl kind of thing, I suppose. Mm. Um, but the uh, the great thing about it is that. It, it's not like you restart and it reboots again. Every time you do this, there's another version of you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Floating around the place that you have to negotiate with who's, who's on his own trajectory. Yes. And you've already been there, so yeah. It's a, as you say, it's it's a killer smart script. And I've yeah. got, you know, three three actors, one location, essentially. Yep. Um, uh, you know, no special effects to speak mm -hmm, of, no. apart from, you know, old stereo equipment and headphones. <laughs> and, and, stuff. It, and it doesn't need it. You don't need the... <laughs> it's no. a power of the story. Yeah. Mm. Now, it's going to be ripe, I think, for someone like um, like your, you know Brad Pitt's Plan B Company, or someone you know maybe you could you could imagine casting Steve Carell in the Dean role. Mm. Uh, although you, it'd be hard to improve on the performances on display. Yeah, Josh McConville, in great. particular, is brilliant. Yeah, he's he, great. He gets he gets Sullivan feeds him a lot of really funny off the cuff lines, and and the character has a has kind of a very OCD sort of quality to him. Mm. You know? So, uh, and, and it, you know, he's, he's sort of, in some ways, a typical nerd, but then he expresses a lot of stuff that's very atypical, mm. you know what I mean, for, for what and, you would expect and to be a, I love the fact as well that, guy. that yeah. Yeah. it takes him so long to actually start learning by his mistakes. Yeah. So at the beginning, he's just like, oh, no, we just changed that, changed that, and he never seems to learn, and it gets progressively worse and worse and worse. But, I mean, for a low-budget film as well, the whole aspect of the multiple people being on screen at the same time and the way it's edited together, it's fantastic. You never once watch this film and go... Oh, that's a bit naff, or you can you can see mm. the lines. It's you know, extremely it's, well it's extremely clever, isn't mm. it? Like, mm. yeah, he, he, you're right. He's totally mapped this out. Yes, it must have been storyboarded within an inch of its life. Yeah, it, it would was, have to be. Yeah, yeah. I, I believe he worked on the script for a couple of years. Yeah. So, and you can tell it's it's really tight. It's witty. It's funny, and uh, and not just not just funny, but it touches on some really kind of profound statements about relationships in general. Yeah. About how we try and relive certain things. We try and rewrite certain things. Um, it says something much Remember larger. Remember the good, forget the bad. Sort of yeah, you just yeah. hang on to those brief little moments. Yep. You know. Yeah, so it, I guess it has a little bit in common with internal sunshine and a spotless mind in that regard, you know, about how relationships play out in our brain as opposed to reality. So it, it does some really, really clever things as well. Yeah. Yeah. No, re really smart movie. Um, imagine what he could have done with a few more days, but then he kind of didn't need it. I just did, no. it, it was, you know... Yeah, very good. Mm. Okay, I'm going to give it four stars. You guys, in, do you concur? Yes, I concur. Four stars from me as well. Yeah, four stars from me. A great little independent Aussie film there. It's one of, yeah, one of those things that, uh, see it in the cinema just because you know that it deserves it. It's a great movie. And you don't um, want your mind to wander. No. You don't want to go make a cup of tea because no, then no. you're going to miss 
one of the versions of the story going on. You want to concentrate on this. Yeah, yeah. And it's a good tight sort of like 90 minute film as well. Mm. So I don't think it's even that. It's yeah. like 84 or something. Yeah. Uh, that's The Infinite Man, which is uh, going to be opening a limited release today. Uh, we really urge you to see it. It's a great Australian movie. See it. Go see it. Or else we'll sit back on time and then we'll come round to your place and sort you out. <laughs> <laughs>